research interests are broadly uh, electrochemical systems. Uh, the most famous example of an electrochemical system is a lithium-ion battery, which powers our laptops and our cell phones. Uh, but we here specifically work on electrochemical systems for more stationary energy storage to store renewable energy like solar and wind. And the idea is that you need such a storage system to make sure that uh, these renewable energy systems can take a larger fraction of grid electricity. At the moment they're intermittent, so they only generate energy at some points and not at other points. And so you can't use them for a large fraction of grid electricity as a result. But if you couple them to a storage system like a type of battery that we build, then you might be able to use more and more uh, renewables as sources of electricity. In the lab we have about uh, 11 students now, uh, one lab manager. Um, about 50% uh, of the lab focuses on experiments, which involve developing devices, doing fundamental experiments to better understand these electrochemical systems. And the other, about half the lab, works on basically theory, so building mathematical models of these types of cells. Uh, understanding how they respond to different inputs. For example, some students will be working on experiments to measure things like electric conductivity of electrodes, where we develop electrode materials for these electrochemical systems. Others will build a total battery prototype and they'll then test it. My lab ends up being very uh, multidisciplinary. Electrochemical systems involve all sorts of disciplines like uh, mechanical engineering, uh, transport and flow, chemical engineering, sort of reactions, uh, electrical engineering, as well as material science, material development. So through GTIP, I'm able to recruit students with varying backgrounds. One interesting and I think maybe unique aspect of our research is that we basically combine energy and water uh, together in one technology. So we develop technologies which are electrochemical systems, but which both store energy and also treat water and typically desalinate water simultaneously. So they can be used um, in the future to do both those functionalities at the, at the same time. So yeah, the bigger picture for us is the way electricity is generated today, which is primarily uh, fossil fuel based. For example, in the US, two thirds of the electricity roughly is generated through fossil fuel sources uh, and only about 7% through solar and wind. And so we hope that by developing stationary energy storage technologies, that we can change that picture and have a much higher fraction of electricity generated through renewable technologies. <laughs>